in this session, we're going to talk about heart block. Now, this is an electrical block, and this should be distinguished from blockage in the blood vessels that go to your heart. Heart block refers to electrical impulses that are blocked in the heart. So let me draw over the heart again here. This is the lower chamber of the heart, the upper chambers. Your natural pacemaker of the heart, the sinus node, is, uh, is located there. And electrical impulses spread through the upper chamber like a wave. And then it goes down to the lower chamber through an electrical bridge. Heart block refers to abnormality of this electrical bridge, such that impulses that originate from the upper chambers can't get down to the lower chamber in a normal fashion. There are various degrees of heart block. And what we call first degree, it means that this electrical impulse goes through the bridge, but it's slower than usual. So it takes a little longer than the quarter of a second that I mentioned before. And it may take actually half a second sometimes, as long as a half a second. So there's delay in the impulse getting down to the lower chamber, but nevertheless, it gets down there. This is a little more benign problem there. Then there is what we call second degree. In second degree, the impulses get down to the lower chamber, but not every one of them gets down. So maybe every third one blocks over here in the bridge and doesn't get down there. So the lower chamber doesn't beat as fast as your natural pacemaker is trying to drive the heart at. Uh, sometimes maybe every other beat gets down to the lower chamber. So second degree means that there is blocked beats, some of them that don't get down there at all, but some do get through, and that's called second degree. And of course, there is third degree. And third degree heart block means the impulses just don't get through. Maybe an occasional rare one may sneak through, but most of them just doesn't get through. So if the impulses do not get through, we refer to this as third degree heart block. That's a big problem because the lower chamber of the heart are the main pumping chambers. And if they don't get the electrical impulse, they don't contract and pump. So uh, with third degree heart block, people can become very symptomatic and even collapse. Fortunately, in a lot of cases, the lower chamber does have its own pacemaker. And so it may beat at a very slow rate, like 20 beats a minute or 15 beats a minute. So if somebody may be feeling terrible, but they may not collapse uh, with this kind of rhythm.